What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we've made it to the woodland region and we're now going to take on some of the side quests that are going on in the region. There's actually seven, four of them in the actual Korok forest. We're going to split this into two parts because some of these side quests are kind of lengthy and on top of that, um, I think one of them we can't even just outright do until the very end of the game. But first things first, we're going to go southeast of the tower because over here is a stable activating our first side quest. So, you can even see it from here. I will see you there in just a moment. Alright, here we are in the woodland stables. Now what we are looking for is just a little guy called Shamei. This is a very, very quick side quest. Also, this is a really nice looking stable. Like, it's a proper little thing, isn't it? We might need to wait till midday, actually, because it's kind of bedtime right now. But here's the recipe for this place. A carrot, a some wheat, and a potion of some kind. Cool. Here he is. Hello. Balloons! Floaty balloons! I sometimes see it in my dreams! Do you think that a long time ago people used to live in the sky? I think so. Hey, mister! Just once in my life, I want to see balloons fly right up into the sky. You'll help me realize my balloon dream. I'll give you a treasure I got from the sky as thanks. Leave it to me. Thank you! Now put some balloons onto a barrel and make it float up high! Alright, that's all you need to do for Balloon Fight. What a nice little reference of a name. Right, let's go organize our things so that I get even more lost on what it is I'm looking for. There's an amaranth. I always get that messed up. Do I not have balloons? Okay, I do. It's just way off in the corner. Okay. We want two of these. Two of these. Because you need food to make it fly successfully. <laughs> Floaty balloon soaring high in the sky. Fly up and away to the lands in the clouds. I want to visit the land in the sky by balloon! Then I'm gonna ride a really big bird! Yep, that's my dream! Thank you, mister! This is a treasure from the sky! Here, take it! Ooh, a star fragment coming down from the sky quite literally. But yes, that is balloon fight all done. And there are a couple more things I want to do at this, uh... Stables while we're here. Pekango's here! Wow, what a dignified structure! How does nature create such magnificence? Hey, we meet again! Are you out travelling as well? I've travelled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Hmm, this picture shows Hyrule Castle in the distance. They say there used to be a stage where, knight where knighting ceremonies were performed, just south of Hyrule Castle. It's in ruins now, but I'm pretty certain that's what's in the picture. However, that area is extremely dangerous. If you're planning on going there, please be careful. Alrighty, that wasn't that helpful since it was kind of obvious that it was south of Hyrule Castle, because, you know, you could see Hyrule Castle, but that's good to know. Right, that is us done, uh, not here, at this stable for now. Might grab a couple pieces of wood, but otherwise that's all I've got to do here. Next side quest we're going to do is not in Korok Forest. I want to do that last. We're going to go over here, because there's another stable waiting for us here. So I'll see you there in a moment. Here we are, welcome to the Serene Stable. Right, for this side quest we need to talk to multiple people. It's those bo gr uh, group of boys over there. The researchers, Bones Leviathan, how did they go extinct? My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a violent volcanic eruption. My theory is that Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. Uh, my theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to an extended ice age. Oh, pardon me, I've gotten ahead of myself. Ahem. Why did the Leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are trying to answer. However, we haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories for the time being. But do we have a but we do have a general idea of where such remains might be found. The Elden Mountains in the northeast, the Heber region in the northwest, and the Geruda, re Geruda region in the southwest. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of traveling, or adventuring. Would you be willing to find these Leviathan bones and draw a picture of them? What I especially want to see is the head of the animal. If you can just get a bit of, the bi bit of it in the picture, that'd be adequate. 
do this for me and I'll give you 300 rupees as a reward. Leave it to me. Oh. Excellent. You are a lifesaver in the most literal sense. I'll be waiting here with your 300 rupees. Oh. Alright, and that begins Leviathan Bones. Thankfully, they did tell us where they are. They are in the three corners of Hyrule. Not that one. They're going to be over here. Over here. Uh, that one specifically. And way down here. I'll see you in a minute with more detailed degrees on the map. Alright, here we are at the northern part of Elden, the Elden region at least. We need to go to the Elden Great Skeleton. Each three of the Leviathans are actually labelled on the map, which is pretty cool. Although that might be because I've actually found them and that would be why. But either way, we're going down here. I'll show it off again on the map in a minute if you really, really think you need it. See you in a moment as we just land the, to it. Here we are. Right down this region here, the very peak of the Hyrule region. And, as per usual, let's go get our very artsy picture. Alright, next up we'll go to the Hebrew region. Now this one's especially easy if you've done all the shrines in the region, we need to go to the Shada Nor Shrine. Because this is the hardest Leviathan to find without it. The reason we need to go to this specific shrine, once I get my clothing on, is because it is inside the cave. Wrong shrine. It's the Tokuomo Shrine you need to go to, excuse me, because it's inside an icy cave directly by the Hebra North Summit, and this is where the Hebra Great Skeleton is, because the shrine is within its remains. That's pretty cool. Apparently the extended ice age theory is also correct, along with the over-the-top heat thing as well. Let me get a nice angle on the picture, and then I'll move on further. Alright, and that is that one documented too. The final one, now that we've been to the top right and top left corner, is the very bottom left corner. Thankfully enough, there is another Leviathan down here, because I haven't actually gone to this region yet. Now, as your map can tell you, the Great Skeleton is again inside another shrine in the very bottom corner, along with the Great Fairy Fountain. Hawakoth Shrine it is. Now I know to get to this shrine you actually need to go through a bit of a um, sandstorm to get here, but the other one, the Tokuomo Shrine, I don't actually remember how you go in there. So if you want a guide on how to reach those shrines and thus these leviathans, if you haven't unlocked them already, then I would recommend checking out my shrine videos where I cover every single shrine in every single region. Blah 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 blah, there's another plugin for you. Anyway, let's go and get a nice angle on this drought ridden leviathan. Also, I feel sorry for Link, he's got sand boots on for one thing, which is kind of nice, but then he's got to wear super warm clothing for the rest of this place, and I'm not taking it off. Alright, and that is all three documented, let's go back to the boys. Well, it's raining and thundery, but they're all still together, along with the stable girl this time, apparently. I must see that leviathan skeleton from the Gerudo region. I've got it right here. I'm a little wet though. I cannot believe my eyes! You really are good at drawing! With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct due to a catastrophic drought. I'm sure my brothers would appreciate your help with their pictures too. Sure. <laughs> I'd really like to see the Leviathan skeleton in the Hebrew region! I've got it right here. The hardest one to find, technically. Unless you already did the shrines. Sorry, it's not my best picture. Amazing! It's as if I'm seeing the real thing! This is precisely the evidence I needed to prove that the Leviathans went extinct due to a harsh ice age. Please help my other brothers out in the same way! I really need to see the Leviathan bones from the Elden region. I've got it right here. This is wonderful! You drew this? With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct as a result of a massive volcanic eruption. 
Ah, you've got pictures of all three Leviathan skeletons. My thanks. Here's your reward. Gold rupee? Beautiful. I shall conduct re further research on my hypothesis while making careful study of your picture. Cool. I've also seen the Leviathans seem to be a reference to the goddess whales from Skyward Sword. Not certain on that, and it might have been another skull I saw, but that was slightly worrying. But oh well, do you say anything new? Oh my, this weather is dreadful. Nothing to do in this weather but stay here at Serene Stable and relax. That's probably why these Leviathan researchers are here at the stable. And because they totally have a thing for me. Tee <laughs> Okay, look at his smile. He's like, yeah, you know it. Anyway, that is us done with these stables. Who cares about all the weather? I'll run around in it, damn it. I'll take these shrum shrum shrew. These endura shrooms, actually. Cool, right, now that that's done, we're finally going to go a little bit into Korok Forest. But we're only going to do some of these shrines because some of them are sort of pushing the boundaries into other videos that I want to do. Now it's kind of hard to maneuver whereabouts in the Korok Forest we want to go considering we have just four stars splattered along the map, but we want to go to the Master Sword area for our first Korok side quest. I think it's this guy here. We are right here in the forest if that makes any sense, or you can see the Master Sword is over there. Yes it is. Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest! You're much, much cooler than I thought you'd be! But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will you expect accept my trial? No, I'll do it. Hooray! Show me your rod with the power of ice, please. You can wave this rod to freeze enemies in their tracks. Ice Wizards love to wreak havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with the power of ice, he would be even stronger and cooler. Huh? What's this you're carrying? Whoa! Looks like you've located an ice rod. You can give them an ice rod for a certain reward, or a blizzard rod for a slightly upgraded reward. We already had an ice rod, so I figured I'd get it. But you're gonna you're gonna have to equip it to impress me. Here it is. Yeah. Is that a blizzard rod? Oh, we have a blizzard rod. Even better. Incredible shimmer. Unbelievable sparkle. Thank you, Mr. Hero! Your weapon is so amazingly, wonderfully sparkly, I must give you something as thanks! Gold rupee. You'd only get a silver rupee otherwise, if you got the, uh, just the ice rod. Clink! Sparkle! Really? I didn't know I had a blizzard rod. I thought I had an ice rod. Okay, well that's pretty cool. And a frost blade as well. Alright. Well, that one's that one. Nice and easily done. A freezing rod. Complete immediately. Look at that. Lovely. Right, the next person we want to talk to is inside or outside, just around the trees with a circle leaf. Uh, Kula here has a five leaf face, which is what I use to determine which is correct. So yes, you can go right inside of the Deku tree here, which I think is really cool. Like, I might stick around here a little bit because it seems like a nice little area. And we're looking for circle face over here. Glowy how Glowy hoppy. It's, it's, it's. It's Mr. Hero! Yay! Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. Why you took you what took you so long? Beaks thought of a trial that will help Mr. Hero stronger, or make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful, so I wanna see a bloopy. It's a blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark, just about Beaks' size. I just really wanna see a bloopy, even if it's just a picture of one. I'll help you out. Huh? Wait, wait! You have it already? I do. Which one are you going to show it? Show off. Yeah, look at that. Way back from, like, episode 5. Wait, wait, wait a minute! Is that a real bloopy? Right by Kakariko Village. By the fairy fountain there. Wow, it's even more beautiful than pigs imagined! Thanks so much, Mr. Hero! I'm Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift. Pigs didn't forget. Silver rupee. Lovely. You could also go to the top of Sofatori Mountain to find a whole bunch of them. I'll show that off in a bonus video sometime later. Oh yeah! Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you shoot an arrow at a bloopy. I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm just glad I got to see something so cool. Beaks is so happy right now. Alright, and that is the legendary rabbit trial done. Now at this point, I'm actually going to end it off here because we do have three other side quests we can do, but they kind of peter into doing shrine quests here. So I'm going to get on that first and sort of make a little mini crossover deal. It's how we're going to end up doing things. Actually, 
I guess I can activate them on this bit and then complete them in the shrine video tomorrow. So I'm gonna do it like that, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, so in that case, I need to talk to this guy right by the front of the uh, Deku Tree. Complete the trials. Huh? You? Could it be? You're Mr. Hero! Mr. Hero is here! The mushroom on my head suddenly spattered today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come. I think. Us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials for you, Mr. Hero. Although you may not need them since you already pulled the Master Sword out and all. But these trials will help you grow even stronger than you are now. Among them is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder of the Korok Forest. So will you test your metal in the Korok's trials? I'll do it. You know, if you keep everything if you keep doing everything everyone asks of you without question, you're gonna get conned eventually. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Korok trials. Long story short, you'll need to visit all the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial one! In the Southwest Forest, trial of the second sight. Trial two! In the Northwest Forest, in the Lost Pilgrimage. Trial three! In the Eastern Forest, the test of wood. If you can overcome the Korok trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. All right, do your best. All right, and that opens the Korok Trials. So for that, it's gonna give us three different shrine quests. Now that they're activated, we'll get going on them tomorrow. But I've also realized I have one more thing I need to prepare, but I also actually really need to prepare it. So I'll be back in a minute. There's one more side quest to do that doesn't include a shrine. So let me be right back. All right, so it's been a little while, but I'm now finally back with the things we need. And we want to talk to Mustache Guy at the very top of the Deku Tree. There is not a path upwards here, is there? Here we go, you had to go around the outside to get to it. Here we are, and it's a wonderful little sacred place with a whole bunch of fairies and uh, fireflies, that's what they're called. Let me grab a couple fairies first. And then Mustache Guy is right here. You see why I call him Mustache Guy? I was having such a nice dream. Wait, if you're here, does this mean you want to face the ultimate trial? I'll try it. Ahem! The ultimate trial has begun! I'll tell you a riddle about an object, and your job is to solve the riddle and bring me the correct item. Here comes your first riddle! Small, red, round, and sweet! Bring me one of this simple treat! Have you figured it out yet? I'm guessing you're more than stumped than the, than the base of the felled tree. If you place the right object on the leaf, I'll dance for you! Alright. Riddles of Hyrule. For this one, they are asking for an apple. Apple! It's an apple! That's it! That's it! You got it! Ahem! Kakariko Village's specialty fruit. It's rock hard flesh. It's quite re resolute. Alright, that is a pumpkin. Fortified pumpkin! That's it! That's it! You got it! Ahem! The next riddle is... This sultry shroom will but will warm your bones. It makes it home in warmer zones. That is a sun shroom. Sun shroom! That's it! That's it! You got it! Ahem! The next riddle is... Its scales and tail will zap you no doubt. This shocking summer... Or this shocking swimmer is called a... Fish. Uh -huh. Oh, a blank fish. I got you now. What they want is a vault fin trout. Trout fish, basically. Uh, I found this guy by looking it up on a guide because they're apparently very rare or something. East of the Thundra Plateau on the northern part of the Crescent Island there, hidden behind a uh, forest octorok. Vault fin trout! That's it, that's it! You got it! Ahem. The next riddle is... This is the last riddle. Prepare yourself. If stepped on by this, you will go poof. It starts with an H and ends with an oof. A hoof. A Lionel hoof. Lionel hoof. That's it. That's it. You got it. I knew you could do it, Mr. Hero. Here is your reward. Diamond. I'm fresh out of riddles. You've outwitted me. I'm very impressive. Cool, and that is the final side quest for us done today. Riddles of Hyrule. Next time we'll go. Next time 
We'll go and take on all of the shrines in this little woodland region. Because uh, we're not going to do like these shrine uh, side quests quite yet, but it will take us doing on. It will take us doing on the other shrines. The next three that are in here, at least, will take us onto shrines. Then we'll complete the shrines, and then we'll come back later. Later side quests. Otherwise, after that, we'll go to a. No, we won't go to a new region. We've got to do Koroks and Forest. Uh, Koroks and Forest. Koroks here, and no treasures because we're not doing that anymore. Gosh, what a ramble of conversation. But yes, basically, mending it off now. So for now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.